Hi, I'm Felipe Veloso from Fiendi Machine in collaboration with Option, your partner in digital acceleration. In this session, I'm going to talk about ML Flow Tracking Server, which is uh, similar to what we saw in the last post, but in a collaborative environment, so I'm going to create a log server in the GCP cloud. In the last post, I mentioned three points of ML Flow, the experimentation, the reproducibility, and the deployment part. But if we work on our laptop, this is a very difficult to achieve. MLflow documentation talks about four ways to work with the tracking model, the localhost or the localhost with database way and the server version of this. As we see in the diagram, the localhost environment is your laptop, so it's difficult to share your job with your coworkers. In an intuitive way, we create our own server to put all the logs from the models uh, we are developing and leave the hard work of training a model in our laptop. In the future, things you can train in a cluster with some GPU or TPU, and the important part is to separate the computational process and the logging and metrics work. So, at first, I'm creating a VM on GCP. All the comments are going to be in the description, so don't worry about that. Secondly, I'm creating a firewall rule, which is uh, just for security reasons. If you are not from the IT world, this is a layer of security which allows to reduce the capability of intruders entering on your VM in this case. You can check in the Compute Engine model and the firewall model the configuration created. You need to take note of the internal IP and the external IP. We are going to use this on next. Meanwhile, we need to create a bucket. This is for the artifact part. You are going to create as a result of your development. Enter in the SSH button just to configure another layer of security. This is the job for a DevOps or Cloud Engineer role. But it is good to know some new things. Don't you think so? On next, we check the version of MLflow installed in your VM. This happened because in the installation command I put some metadata script to install when I create the VM. That allows to advance some work. For the first iteration, I start the server just for resource initialization. Then I shut down and start configuring the Nginx. If you don't know, Nginx is an open source software for web serving, regular proxy, caching, load balancing, and media streaming. In this step, I create two users just to differentiate root and some user random. We use it to control access with a basic user and password login. So, put the following commands to configure the login of the server and save the configuration. At the end, we reset the Nginx server. After that, we run the MLflow server one more time with the difference that we start it like a localhost. In the last part, we activate the traffic to our VM. We activate the HTTP protocol and save. And this is how you create a log server for MLflow in a cloud. I think it, it was easy. Don't you think so? If you don't, put that in a commentary, please. So you run the server and put the external IP in your web browser and you're gonna start the same UI we saw in the last video. The different, uh, it's gonna be in the script part. So when you go to your script in a local host, you create some environment variables like a user and password. And then you can run the script. Uh, I put that in GitHub, so don't worry about that. Like I say, the script is gonna run in your local host but it's going to record all of the metrics and the remote server. So you can see the experiment artifacts and models you create on the UI uh, of your VM. Meanwhile, you're running your script, you can go to the UI. And this is how you, cre you can create version of the experiment or your own. 
environment um, and more. So your coworker and organization can see what you have done uh, in a obviously online way. Uh, that's, I think that's the, the fantastic part of MLflow server in this case. As a final thought, uh, you can see in your bucket the artifact that you create, so you can reply uh, with another model of MLflow. And that is for the video. I'm Felipe Veloso from Fidei Machine. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm very proud of this video. Three, two, one.